Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at restoring the, the thoracic curve, the natural thoracic curve. Um, for Marcella, she is pretty flat from uh, the mid back all the way up to the nape of her neck here. And so that has to do with her being a high school student, her studying habits, and especially from wearing a really, really heavy backpack. So one thing, really easy uh, cueing technique that you can do with the clients is have them for maybe a little bit of the session or maybe even half of the session wear a yoga strap on their mid-back. So they have this tactile feedback that they can breathe into. So what I want Marcella to imagine here is that on her inhale, she's breathing back into the strap and trying to lift the strap up to the ceiling with her billowy beehive rib cage. Good, and exhale, soften. Great, and see already this is starting to fill up. And again, inhale, breathe and lift. And then on the exhale, can you keep a sense of that packing up as you exhale, releasing the shoulder blades, but trying to keep the ribs into that yoga strap. It's hard to do. Try that one more time. So she does really very good on the inhale. But on the exhale, can you keep some of that width, some of that lift of the yoga strap better? Very good. And so the other challenge is, well, let's see how she does when she lifts her arms. So on the inhale, you're gonna bring the arms over the head, and then on the exhale, come back down. So we could see what happened. As soon as she brought the arms over the head, this part of her back shoved forward. So Marcella, do it a little bit slower this time. So on the inhale, as the arms come up, think about breathing the strap back and up. Keep your sternum forward over your pubic bone and try to fill this area up. Good, so it becomes really, really hard to lift the arms and still fill this area up for, for most people. Good, and now can you keep some of that width, some of that length as the arms go overhead? So we think about people in daily functions reaching for something high on the cabinet are they able to get a pure movement of the arm? Or immediately when they lift their arm, are they moving from their spine? We don't want that. So let's try that one more time, Chell. So inhale, she's lift, yes, there we go, good. And you can tap here to give them lots of nice feedback. And then on the exhale, you wanna keep that going back and up as the arms come down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.